I have uh, received with uh, great shock the proposal by the PF government that we should reintroduce deputy ministers in this country. I am totally surprised and I can't believe it because in a country uh, where you have agro, I mean, agro suppliers uh, being unpaid 519 million uh, kwacha to date, uh, in a country uh, where teachers can't be put on the payroll because government is crying insufficient resources, uh, in a country where CBU has remained closed and nobody seems to bother about it, in a country uh, where civil servants are not getting the salaries on time, RATSA, RADA, uh, council workers, uh, Tazara workers, all these have gone and paid for a long time. We can talk about deputy ministers. I am surprised and shocked. And when I told people that this is a government that doesn't know whether it's coming or going, people think Kalaba is just talking the talk. I am very serious with what I do. And I could never have sat in a government which can propose such kind of things when its people are suffering, honestly speaking. How can we do this? South Africa today is proposing the reduction of ministers. Countries that are doing better economically like Kenya don't have things like deputy ministers. Why are we getting this arrogance? Or bring deputy ministers? Why are we getting this arrogance? Instead of proposing an, an efficient civil service, I was a civil servant myself. And I know that the people that do the work when the ministers give directives are civil servants. I expected to have a civil service that would be allowed now to begin going for serious training. I expected a civil service that would be